Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. And today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Ford Focus ST line. So stay tuned for this video. Just the fourth generation of the Ford Focus, and it's designed to compete with the likes of the Volkswagen Astra, Seat Leon, Volkswagen Golf, and Honda Civic, cars of that caliber and class. There's a wide range of engines available. So, this car I'm driving today is the Ford Focus ST Line 1 litre EcoBoost with 125 PS, and it uses an 8 speed automatic gearbox. And the colour on this car, I believe, is Desert Island Blue, which is a £700 option. So this particular car, as tested with the paint and automatic gearbox, is sitting over just over £25,000. £25,045 to be exact. Combined fuel economy is 47 miles to the gallon and CO2 emissions of 116 grams per kilometre. So if we start off with the aesthetics of the new Ford Focus, I think it's a pretty handsome car. I like the fact that Ford have made an effort with the daytime running lights at the front. Pretty sharp and on the road during the day. It looks very fresh and modern. We've got the large grill that we've been, Ford have been using for the past few years. This particular car's got a nice blue paint. And we've also got large attractive alloy wheels. The design language at the front is very sharp and aggressive. I quite like the front three quarter angle. Especially if the tyres turned. It makes the car look stand out in pot, especially again that colour under light. And then round to the rear, Ford has taken a leaflet out of the Porsche design language book, so they've spaced out the wording for focus, just the way Porsche do across the boot tailgate. And then the lights in the rear are sadly just bulbs, nothing too exciting. I've got hoping for some LED upgrades or anything on it, but we do get a nice sporty looking rear end, even though it is the one litre petrol. And with the basic engine, <laughs> the car does look quite aggressive, especially this ST line trim. And we've got dual exhaust on the right hand side. Up front in the cabin, we've got a blend of high quality plastics on the dash on top of the doors and some scratchy plastics as you work way down to the footwell. The overall aesthetic isn't too bad, however, I would say it is lacking, especially in comparison to the likes of Volkswagen Golf with like, the virtual cockpit. In the centre here, we've got Ford's latest sync touch system, so that means you can jump around and click things at like your navigation, audio for your radio. Decent sound system is standard. As you can see, volume knob, tuning knob, fast forward play button, we've got your climate controls down here in your air vents here, hazards. Got nice ambient lighting, this is where you've got your USB port and a volt socket. Down here we've also got two cup holders that are illuminated in blue. We've got the driver select button, here's a bit like a Jaguar Range Rover. Twist for drive, neutral, reverse, P for park. Also got a handbrake, an automatic there. Down here we've got engine start, stop, defeat. Traction control on and off. And this button here cycles through your driver modes so we can go through normal Eco and Sport. Now we're looking at the gauges, we've got nice clear gauges. There are analogue with a little bit of a digital display in the middle here. It's a blend of both worlds. We've got a black panel with the Scion kind of colour for the needles. The tachometer there reaches about 6,500 revs. They give it a little rev. There's not too much happening at the front. We'll do a quick view inside there, it says miles a gallon, so 23.8 miles a gallon. And overall it's quite a nice little display. The important features such as if your drive modes are down here, so if you want to see if you're in drive neutral park. Engine temperature, fuel gauge is important. Look at the steering wheel. You'll see it's got a rather wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching that matches the seats little plastic paddles behind, so plus on the right, minus on the left. 
you've got your cruise control on the left hand side with your volume controls, right hand side you've got the little button that controls the little LCD display in the middle, and you've got your voice control for your telephones and that there. All over on the right hand side there we've got your front and rear fogs, we've also got your automatic lights and you can twist this as well, like my other Ford videos you've got side lights, full lights, automatic. Brightness and dimming of the instrument cluster. Over on the door panel, we've got the same high quality materials at the top. A little bit of scratch as you work your way down. We've got a nice electric wing mirror so you can fold that and you can decide and manoeuvre it any way you wish. All round four electric windows, which is nice to see. We've got door locks, nice and easy to locate. In the centre of the armrest, we've got a little cupboard you can lift the tray up, and there's another USB port. It is quite deep, and this little tray here you can put your wallet and things like so, like so, and fold that up. Move over to the glove box, pull this little lever towards you, and it glides down. It isn't lined or anything, so it's quite scratchy, and it's a little bit flimsy, and it's not very made of nice material, very scratchy. Here we've got the dimming mirror, so you slide this forward to put it into dimming. Quite nice interior lighting there, which is quite nice and bright. And it lights up the cabin pretty well. The seats, because this is the ST line, are quite well bolstered. We've got the red stitching as well to give it a bit of a racier appeal. The seats are lined in fabric and they're a little bit soft, a little bit firm in the right places around the edges. There's no fax extension and the passenger seat is completely rigid, you can just slide it back and forth and adjustment to the rear. There's no height or incline. This particular car isn't fitted with any sensors, so it's a bit interesting to try and park a car. In 2019 without that, no camera either, well I'll mention it. In the rear we've got bench seating, so that's seating for free and you've got hooks for your child seat to go on either side. Boot space is generous, it's very wide and deep, and you can lift that load cover up and that exposes the spare tyre. You can easily fit, imagine your pram and your weekly shop in there. Ford Focus has always been known to have a little bit more of driver engagement in comparison to its rivals. This one is no different. The fourth generation is very comfortable on the road. Road noise is definitely subdued in comparison to the last generation. And I've driven the 2015 Ford Focus and I can see there's a significant upgrade in terms of refinement, build quality and just the car overall is a much better car. It's got the Ford Focus badge but overall it's a much better car than it was previously. One thing I dislike about the front of the car, and this is, goes across for some cars in this modern era, is the blend of halogen bulbs and the kind of white light for daytime running lights. I know Hyundai, my dad's Hyundai Tuscan had this as well. So you put the light on at night and you've got the main beam that's been halogen, but then you've got your daytime running lights, which are bright white, and it just looks a weird contrast out in the road. I think it should be either all halogen or all LED, which would probably be my preference actually for the all blue look. But I'll let you guys decide about yourself because this is obviously designed subjective to everybody's taste. If you like the car, comment below. If maybe something you don't like about it, I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are. But overall, it's an improvement over the previous generation. It's nicely defined and you should definitely check it out if you're looking at this kind of size of car. Just wanted to say thanks very much for watching my Car to Glasgow video on the Ford Focus ST line. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel below and don't forget to share with your friends. Please also check us out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's a post right over there. And yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Ford Focus ST line.